Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Enscape for SketchUp. Very simple and easy, only with some few tips about the exterior rendering and HDRR control. So this is the simple environment that we have in the SketchUp. This is the simple trees that I set in my 3D environment. It completely depends on you and your job and what you want from the architectural designs in your projects so very simple and easy i set all of these assets as you can see and this is the uh, simple environment that we have in enscape so i'm going to maximize the uh, screen in the uh, enscape 3.5 and this is the uh, simple result that you can see one of the uh, modern villa designs related to 3dwarehouse.com that i downloaded so I create one camera in my Enscape environment and I can manage my cameras with the view management option in here and click on my favorite camera in this place. QS number one is my favorite camera shot. So I will click on it and I will get to my real screen that I want. So I want to start my job with the safe frame. So I can turn it off or turn it on very simple and easy like that. And now I want to create some type of two-point perspective. For this reason, I'm going to click on this bar in here and convert it from the perspective to the two-point perspective. So now I want to click on the visual setting in here, move it in this place. And now I want to reduce the field of view to focus on my target much better than the past. So. I will do this job for some number about 66 degree in here. This leaf related to one of the uh, trees. So I will minimize this screen in here and go to my SketchUp environment. In this place, I will delete some of the trees very simple and easy like that. So for the right side and left side, I need some trees for make this render much realistic. So I will use this tree in here, for example and move it inside of my house as you can see now we have some good cover for our architectural render in this place so i will move it a little bit on the a red axis like that about one meter for example some result like that can be good or i can improve it by moving it a little bit something like this for example so and I will use this tree with the uh, copy option in this place, in here. And I will rescale it another time to make it much realistic. So I will move it inside of my garden and yard. Don't worry about the uh, timing. If you want some realistic render, you must to spend lots of time on your 3d job so something like that is really good for our rendering something like this and everything is good for me the reflection of the water and many type of things like that so i will maximize the enscape in here and hold shift and right click and change the uh, time of the day very simple and easy something like this for example near to the uh, 9 a.m. for example 8.44 or 9 for example something like that and hold Ctrl and U to change the uh, sun direction on the sky very simple like this for example I need some light on my bicycle and this place of my house and you can play with these lights very simple and easy or some render like that it depends on you and your target so i will reduce the uh, light a little bit something like this is really wonderful so i will click on the visual setting turn off the uh, auto exposure and exposure my scene manually very simple and easy for example some number about 19 percent is really wonderful for this job or you can turn on the auto exposure and use some number like 56% for your render. I want to turn on the depth of field for focusing on these edges of my job. So I will uncheck the auto focus 
and play with the uh, focal point to reach to the uh, best result of the uh, focusing. Some place like that is really good. And I will adjust my number about 13.34 meter. And I will reduce the depth of field to some normal number about 12%. So I will go to the uh, sky box in here and I can see some empty fields in this place. I want to fill them fully. So I will change the source of my horizon job from white ground to the uh, forest. Or you can change it to the uh, mountains. It completely depends on you. So I don't need these type of clouds in my sky. So I want to turn all of them to the uh, zero. Very simple and easy. Cyrus amount is one of the important elements. So I want to turn it to the uh, zero like that. If you want some realistic render, always save some clouds on your sky. And you can play with the uh, variety to change the uh, formation of the uh, clouds in your sky. For example, something like that. Some number about, for example, 96%. And I want to reduce the uh, density because I need some clear sky. And I think some number about 22, really good number for this job. Or you can completely change all of them to the uh, zero and zero for all of them. So, I want to click on the atmosphere. I don't need any fog for my environment, so I will turn it off. And some brightness. When I decrease the sun brightness, you can see the result in here. And you can change the time of the day by sun brightness. For example, 9% of the sun brightness, usually in the realistic world, related to near to the cold mornings in the autumn and winter. So it depends on you and your project location and climate or weather. So I will change it to the 88% because I need some warm light and render. Night sky is not really important at all, but you can see some shadows in here. Shadow sharpness helps you to create some type of realistic and sharp shadows. So when I increase it, as you can see, some shadows like that is really incredible in this screen. But I suggest to use some normal mapping shadows. For example, 69% is really normal and good number for your job. Ambient brightness related to the inside of the house. So I will change it to the 66%. But you can't feel it right now. And wind is completely zero. In the image bar, you can turn off the shadows to see more brightness in these places. And when you increase the uh, shadows, you can see much darkness in this place. So I prefer to reduce it to some normal number about negative 72% and highlights related to these edges in here. When I decrease the highlights, my render completely converted to some type of dead render. So I prefer to increase it a little bit about 6%. So save this screen in your mind. What happened when I check the auto contrast? When I click on the auto contrast, you can see this place get a little bit darker. So I don't need it, so I will turn it off. And I want to see these edges, but I don't know how. In these type of projects and positions, you can check the main bar and increase the outline a little bit, not too much. So be careful about the outline number for example, some number like 16% is really normal for these type of jobs. And you can see a little bit line in here. So I will click on the image bar and I need some much bluer sky. For this result, you can increase the saturation, but be careful about it. When I increase it, I can see more blue sky in my environment, but the trees color completely out of realistic world. So I prefer to control it about 108% and color temperature. When I decrease it, as you can see, we will have some type of warm render and it's completely wrong. So watch out when you use color temperature and saturation. So I will change this color temperature to some number about 7000 Kelvina 
motion blur is zero and lens flare is not really work in this place because we don't have any type of direct sun direction in front of the camera so the light from the back of the camera in this place so i suggest to reduce the bloom to the zero and lens flare to the 10 percent Wignate related to the uh, these offsets in your picture, so I will change it to the six percent. And chromatic abbreviation is completely zero in this case. So I will come back to the main bar and check all of the things in here. Everything is done for me. And now, before I change the rendering quality to the ultra mode, I want to minimize this screen in here and play with some materials to see the result. First of all, look at this water in here. What happened when I change the uh, setting about the uh, water? So I will click on the uh, paint bucket in SketchUp, click on the Enscape Material Editor, move it a little bit to this place and click on the uh, sample paint in SketchUp. So I will pick up this texture to see what happened. Water selected for me. You can change the uh, water color in here, for example, to the uh, green and you will have some type of water like that. If you want to see more water in your screen, very simple, you must check the override global wind setting, increase the intensity of the wind, and now in this place, you can see what happened when I increase the wave height in here. So, as you can see, the reflection will completely converted and refractive. So when I increase the scale option in here, as you can see, we can see the changes in the wave setting. When I increase the scale, we will have some smaller waves on our water. So I want to use some wavy water or clear water, for example, 54% and height of the uh, wave related to you and your project, for example, I need some small waves about 4% and this is the result that we have in here. So when I came back to my original camera shot as you can see in here something like that for example you can see the result and reflection of this building on this water. So I want to completely see all of these elements and reflections. So I will turn off the uh, height option, turn off the uh, scale option, and turn off the uh, intensity and override global wind setting. So now you can see much better reflections on your water. And cosmetic intensity related to the uh, brightness of the uh, surface to the environment. So 88% is a good number for it. I will turn the water color to the uh, white to see more blue water color in here. Everything is done for me, now time for the uh, rendering. So I will increase the uh, rendering quality from the uh, visual box in here, like that, very simple. So I want to click on the uh, visual setting, ultra rendering quality, and I think I can increase the exposure a little bit, like the uh, 63%, and it's really good right now. So I will click on the uh, screenshot button in here, desktop and save it as the uh, jpg as the uh, enscape naming system so i will click on the save option and rendering will start for us i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for your watching thanks for your support please subscribe us for more tutorials about 3d rendering and 3d modeling thanks so much and goodbye